Hi guys, welcome to my world. We have a, another fantastic day in Sydney, Australia. Today I'll be showing you guys my new track bike, as you guys can see. It's a 2015 model, Kawasaki Ninja 300. As you guys can see, this one is the ABS version. And I just love the paint scheme on this. The green stripes, the silver gas tank, and the black fairings. Looks fantastic on this bike. So you guys might be wondering how much I paid for this bike. It only cost me a thousand dollars. Why is it so cheap? It's salvage title. What that means is it can not be registered anywhere in Australia. You can only use this bike for parts or as a track bike only which is fantastic because I was looking for a track bike for a while, a cheap one actually. So I'll show, the owner was kind enough to throw in some aftermarket parts as well as stock parts. It came with stock windshield as well as aftermarket windshield. I sold the aftermarket windshield separately and decided to keep the stock windshield on. You get better visibility on the track and I made some money on it. I sold off the mirrors, the stock mirrors separately. I sold off the indicators as you guys can see. Because who needs indicators and mirrors in the racetrack? It's not like you're riding on the road. It comes with stock and aftermarket levers. They look fantastic on this bike. It comes with aftermarket Oxford heated grips. I'm not sure if you need that on the racetrack but it's a nice accessory on the road. The bike has less than 5,000 kilometers. It's done 4,848 kilometers, as you guys can see. It has a aftermarket Kawasaki tank pad, which, which looks nice on this bike. It comes with stock reseed, as well as a aftermarket seat cowl. I decided to sell the stock reseed and keep the aftermarket seat cowl. For one of the reasons was the aftermarket seat cowl is a lot lighter than the reseed, stock reseed itself. I decided to sell the tail tidy because you don't need number plates on the racetrack. I took the rear light off to save some weight. The bike came with Delcavic carbon fiber slip-on. I decided to sell the Delca V carbon fiber slip-on separately and put the stock exhaust back on. One of the reasons was I was losing power down low. Second reason was it was way too loud for me. It was getting annoying. While I was riding the bike, I was getting headaches. As soon as I put the stock exhaust back on, <coughs> I got some of my power back. So I got more power down low and also it sounds a lot better it's not as loud as before the only downside to the stock exhaust is it's a lot heavier than the Delcavic exhaust the Delcavic exhaust was super light I mean like this is my second Ninja 300 they're fantastic bikes I love Ninja 300s and R3s but my last Ninja 300 was a road bike this one will be a track bike only because it cannot be registered you guys might be asking, Shaq, why didn't you get a CBR 600? Why don't you ride your CBR 1000RR on the track? The Ninja 300 is too slow on the track for you. You're riding a 1000. Well, one of the reasons is this one is very cheap. If I drop it, I wouldn't care as much. If I have an accident, I wouldn't care as much because it will cost a lot of money to fix my CBR and it's, it will be a lot easier to have an accident on the CBR than this because this one you have better reaction time however on a 600 to a 1000 you have less reaction time what that means is you have less time to react that's because it's so fast I'll start the bike up for you guys see if you guys like the way it sounds but I honestly like the stock exhaust sound way better than the Delcavic sound
in my opinion it sounds fantastic play, guys please stay tuned for the upcoming videos i'll be doing track days on this every in the next two weeks i'll be buying a new off-road bike to do off-roading as well because i never had a dirt bike i've always had road bikes but i've never had a track bike or a off-road bike so please don't forget to subscribe share and like thank you